Hi everyone, it's me, Spring the Fiber Enthusiast. Welcome to the channel. Today is going to be a Tunisian crochet stitch tutorial. Today's tutorial is on a basket weave pattern, and it's by simply using the Tunisian knit stitch and the Tunisian purl stitch. If you'd like to work up a small swatch, you can use a regular aluminum hook to do so. You do not need to have a specific Tunisian tool or Afghan hook. So if you just wanna grab an aluminum hook and chain in multiples of four, and you can do eight, 12, you don't need a whole lot, but I do recommend at least eight. So all you're going to do is chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm going to do 12, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so now we're going to do a Tunisian simple stitch forward pass and back pass. That is just our foundation row to get us started. And I will be working into the back bumps of the chain. So we're going to go right into the next chain and Tunisian simple stitch. And we're just going to do that working one Tunisian simple stitch into every stitch to the end of the chain. And you'll know that you've done the correct amount if when you get to the end, you have the same number of loops on your hooks as chains you chained. So I should have 12 loops on my hook when I get to the end. And this first row is always a little tedious, so just work your way down. Once we get past that, it'll be smooth sailing. Now, if you need help knowing how to do the Tunisian knit stitch or the Tunisian purl stitch, I do have tutorials on those stitches, but we'll briefly go over them as I work through the next couple of rows with you. So basically, we're going to have a four row repeat. Okay, so now we're at the end. We have two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. So now I know for a fact that I have the correct number of stitches. I'm going to do the reverse pass, standard reverse pass. It'll be used all the way through. So we're going to yarn over and chain one, then yarn over and go through two, yarn over, go through two, and continue that repeat until you have exhausted all but one loop on your hook. So here we go. Once we get to the end here, you have now completed your, your setup row. Now we're going to begin our four row repeat. To start with, we are going to Tunisian purl stitch each of the first two stitches. So we need to bring that yarn in front of our hook, go under the next vertical post, next vertical stitch, bring that yarn down and around behind our hook, and I just take my thumbnail and kind of hold it in place down here below the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. We're going to repeat that one more time. Just like that. Now we're going to Tunisian knit stitch the next two stitches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go between the front vertical bar and the back vertical bar. Go all the way through. yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm going to do that one more time into the next stitch 
And now we repeat Tunisian pearl, the next two stitches, one and two, and Tunisian knit the next two. And then Tunisian pearl, the next two, And now we're going to Tunisian knit stitch this very last stitch. Make sure that you turn it on its edge and pick up both of those legs of that stitch, that in stitch there. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you're simply going to do a standard reverse pass. Yarn over, chain one. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two and continue until you have one loop left on your hook. Now we're gonna repeat that same row one more time. Okay, so now I've made it to the end and we're gonna repeat that. Tunisian pearl, the first two stitches. Tunisian knit the next two stitches and repeat Tunisian purl the next two Tunisian knit the next two Tunisian purl the next two and Tunisian simple stitch that very last stitch make sure that you Get both legs of that stitch that keeps a nice clean edge. And now we're going to do a standard reverse pass. Chain one and yarn over, go through two. Continue that until you have one loop left on your hook. And we will begin row three of our four row repeat. Okay, so now we're going to do the opposite of what we see. Our first two stitches previously were purl stitches. So now we're going to knit them. Tunisian knit stitch, the next two stitches. Tunisian purl stitch the next two stitches. Tunisian knit the following two. Continue that repeat. Tunisian purl the next two. Tunisian knit the next two. And Tunisian simple stitch, that very last stitch. And reverse pass, chain one, and then yarn over and go through two. And continue that repeat till you have one loop left on your hook. And for the fourth row of your four row repeat, we're gonna repeat what we just did. Tunisian knit stitch the first two stitches. Tunisian purl stitch the next two stitches and then repeat. Tunisian knit, Tunisian knit, Tunisian purl, Tunisian purl, Tunisian knit, Tunisian knit, and then Tunisian simple stitch, that very last stitch. 
Make sure you pick up both legs of that last stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and chain one. And we're gonna do the reverse pass. And then to continue this pattern, you would start with row one again and work rows one through four, continuing to repeat, alternating back and forth from your purl stitch to your knit stitch. And by doing that, you end up with this basket weave effect. Okay, I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this stitch. Be blessed, be a blessing, and until next time, bye for now.